The Christmas Mart murder trial continues today with the prosecution calling to the stand once again an archaeologist who assisted with the excavation under the deck of Ruben Flores' Arroyo Grande home in March of 2021. KSVY anchor Neil A. Bear has more from Salinas. Cindy Arrington, an archaeologist of nearly 30 years, was called to the stand to comb over the findings of that dig of Ruben's backyard in March of last year. During the excavation and use of ground penetrating radar, several anomalies were found in the soil, including darker soil, which is consistent with human decomposition. Her company, Natural Investigations Company, was hired by the Slow County Sheriff's Office in March of 2021. Arrington testified that she and Phil Haynes, an expert in ground penetrating radar, used the technology and came to the conclusion that there was a disturbance in the area under the deck in the backyard of Ruben Flores' home, testifying that soil had been removed at one point and put back. During their analysis, Arrington says that they started finding dark staining consistent with human decomposition about two feet deep. Arrington said that they continued finding dark staining in the soil deeper, at one point stating that the staining should not be in that soil. Slow County Deputy District Attorney Chris Pavrell asked Arrington whether she could tell if the dig had been done by hand or a machine, and she responded that it was likely dug by hand. Arrington said two employees from the Slow County Sheriff's Office completed the excavation under the deck, and she said she observed the operation. Pavrell asked if all industry standards were used in this excavation according to her and Arrington said that they were up to standard. Paul's attorney Robert Sanger objected several times during the witness testimony each time it was overruled. During Sanger's cross-examination of Arrington in the afternoon, Sanger brought into question comments Arrington had made to law enforcement following the excavation about what the staining could have been. Sanger asked if she had mentioned to investigators that the stains could have been caused by roots. Arrington responded that they could have been roots, human or animal. She then said, quote, I would say it's organic material. He asked her if there were any fibers or pieces of fabric found in that site, something like a tarp that a body could have been wrapped in. And Arrington said that there was nothing found, but mentioned that tarps are not organic material and decompose at a much slower rate than organic material. Sanger asked how many times Arrington's company had used ground penetrating radar in cases prior to the dig in the Flores backyard, and she said it was only a small percentage. Witness testimony is scheduled to continue Friday morning. In Salinas, Neil Haber, KSBY News. Right before the lunch break during trial proceedings Thursday, a juror in Pulse jury started crying, causing Judge Jennifer O'Keefe to stop testimony and take lunch early. 